What's going on guys? It's Terrence from Two Fresh Fishing and my apologies for the delay in the videos. I've been on daddy duty so you know how it goes for the parents out there. Today we're going to be working on custom colors and we're going to focus on a little baby bass today. I did a run of these for the first time the other day and the customer really liked it. I posted them up on my Instagram and on my Facebook and I've been getting uh, on top of a lot of orders, a lot of positive feedback for them. So I'm going to give a quick overview on how to shoot these. Uh, one thing that I can say that I have dealt with while shooting them is the white uh, tends to bleed in the baby bass colors. And I've had to do a lot of adjustment uh, using the dead on plastic on getting the I can't say correct temperature because even at the lowest temperature that I've shot, which was about 285 degrees, I still was getting some bleed in the white. Uh, fortunately, they came out real good and a lot of people like the effect. I would really like to get a solid laminate out of it. So if anybody has some suggestions on what I could do uh, in the future to get a very solid uh, split within my colors and my laminates, uh, feel free to shoot a comment down below and let me know. So let me get the camera set up and without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, so we have our two colors mixed. We have our baby bass about a cup and a third and we have our white with black flake and in our baby bass we have the gold flake 0 0.035 and we have both of them heated up and I've kind of narrowed it down to about a 280 to 290 degrees is where I'm getting my best shoot at and it's just odd because usually I'm up in the 315s, 320s, 340s uh, depending on what I'm shooting. So we're going to go ahead and try the first run and see how it comes out. Just noticed that I had my C block aiming the wrong way. All right, and as always, top off your sprue. Back off so you don't get any kickback from your plastic. And then we'll wait for this to set up. Okay, so while that's setting up, let me show you these. I'm using the hard eyes on, and usually you would use the soft eyes on this mold here because with the heated plastic, it will allow for the eyes to really join to your plastic once it's shooting. But being that I chose to use the hard eyes because I like them, what I did was I took three eyes on each side and I basically glued them into my mold so that it could, once I shoot the plastic, it would put the indent, indentation in for the eyes to go in, basically create the socket area for it. So after I'm done, I'm able to put the eyes in before I clear dip. So let's check out and see how they came out. To let you check out, you can see the eyes right there. I have one here, one here, and one here. And then I just put my hook slide in. Grab the other mold and you can see where the three eyes are in there. And I just try to carefully put it in so I don't knock them around in there. And then I'm able to lock everything back in and shoot again. So. I'm going to re -nuke this again and then we're going to do one more shoot and then I'm going to end this video. All right. All right, guys, so we reheated our plastic now and we're going to go in for our second shoot. We're down at about uh, 300 degrees. I'm pretty sure between 295 and 300 degrees on both. So we're going to take the second shot. Cleaner. Uh -oh. 
See that? That's why you don't put your hands there. And you wear gloves. carefully and put my excess back in. The only downside of having your fan to the left of you is that you get a lot of blow from your plastic and just didn't want to set up and put the camera on the other side because I didn't want the wind from the fan to make such a loud noise. Good thing about spilling and you can see that some of the plastic spilled here, but once it starts to set up, you can literally just pick it up, put it back in and reuse it. So that's something that I really wasn't worried about. This is the reason that I put the parchment paper down instead of having it on the regular wooden surface. So if I did get a spill like this, it wouldn't be a waste of any of the plastic. So while that's doing this setting up, I'll go ahead and Start getting some of this out. I think I have enough for me to pop it in once more. thing is when it comes to opening up the molds I really like this so it makes it real easy to open them up when you're set up all right and we had that's from our first one so that's from where the white spilled. You got a little bit of the white that came in, but unfortunately that's a waste. Uh, one I'll still be able to keep, but it's a waste. So let me place my eye back in. And in this order, I'm doing 60. So I'm almost at 50 now. So even though I lost that one, really didn't set me off. second and then here's our third I actually didn't get the eye to come out on that one there I'm gonna take you off right quick so you can see what I've already done. Cut this fan off for a minute. So this is what I've already done. We have 18 here, 18 here. This is about 18 here. Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18 here. So I still have six more I have to do for this run. And then I have to go through and I have to clear dip and add eyes to all of them. And the eyes that I'm using are from Lisa and Ed. I think it's lisaandedd.com. Really, 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 really like these eyes. They have a wide variety of different sizes. And for this particular mold, the 6.5 millimeter is what works the best. So. I'm going to go ahead and cut this down and I'm going to kick back in at the clear dip stage. So I'm gonna finish shooting this and I shall return. All right guys, so I have finally gotten almost all of my swim baits complete and I've got the eyes on and now it is 
time to do a quick clear dip. So I have these three completely done with eyes on both sides as well as one of these, but we're gonna start off with this one here and just do three of them right quick. So I'll let you see how they look before the clear dip. And then we're going to basically dip in right to the tail. Let it drip off just enough to where it stops to drip at, which will look like that. And then we're going to wipe it off. Grab the second one. Do the same thing. Drop in right to the end of where our bloodline is, just a little bit on the tail area, but we don't want to lose any of the action from the tail, so we're trying to make sure that we don't go too far down on the tail. And then we'll take one more. pretty well. I don't really doubt how they'll look when they're done, but it's always that transitioning from not having anything on them to adding the eyes and then taking the actual final clear dip and looking at the final product. So we'll take this one as a final product. pretty bad. And like I said, I'll slit right here with the X-Acto knife and then just pull it apart. And you can see where we stopped the clear dip at to allow that action in the tail. And then here's our second one. And then here's the final one we just did. So overall, I can say that I'm very satisfied with this. It's still kind of warm too. See that? Pretty nice. these back down here it is actually almost 1 a.m. in the morning I had to pick back up on this after I got my daddy duties done all right guys so here's my final product and like I said before, I'm pretty satisfied with this. I still have to finish the other 57 of them for the customer, and we'll do that tomorrow. Just wanted to give you guys a quick overview on how to do the baby bass. And as I said before earlier, uh, from the ones that I got the bleed on, if anybody can give me any type of insight, uh, hit the comments down below to let me know what you would do in order to stop the bleeding of the white for some of them that I got the bleed on, like this here so I did drop my temperatures down to as low as 275 to actually where it started to set up at and that still really didn't make a difference but overall with the final bait I'm still pretty happy even with the bleed I'm very very happy exact uh, to be exact with how they're turning out so uh, I hope that you guys like this video and if you did, give me a like. Please remember to subscribe. Any comments, any questions, what would you like to see next? And I thank you guys for tuning in to Two Fresh Fishing. And we'll see you the next time. Remember that life is too short to not go fishing, guys. Take it easy. Goodbye.